Okay, I just want to talk real quick about a couple things with Type 3 that I didn't get on the first uh, video, but uh, one of them relates directly on how to read the PT chart. Uh, first off, with the Type 3 appliance, I'm looking at the evaporator barrel, and uh, we have the water pipes that run through back and forth so that the chilled water can be circulated throughout the building as their cooling medium. Uh, the water box drain on the side uh, would probably be the best place to shove the probe in to see if any of these tubes are leaking. And then the rupture disc is connected to the evaporator. This is not exact, this is just to show some of the things with the evaporator. And then the evaporator charging valve uh, is where they would add the liquid refrigerant. But they want to make sure that the people know that uh, before you add liquid, you want to raise the pressure of the refrigerant up above 32 degrees so that it could uh, keep the pipes, the water in the pipes from freezing. So when you take a look at the R11 PT chart that they give you, they only give you 30 degrees and then they jump to 40 degrees. Well, the other two numbers that you're going to need to remember is 18.1 and 16.9. At 18.1 PSI, actually it's in a vacuum, which is why you have these parentheses. The parentheses, anytime you see it on the PT chart for ESCO, uh, that's going to mean that it's actually in a vacuum. And in a vacuum, when the pressure rises, the number goes down. So that confuses most people. The number that they want you to get to is this 16.9. When you're 16.9 inches in mercury vacuum, that means the saturation temperature for R11 is 36 degrees. So that means that if you get the, you get the vaporized pressure of the refrigerant in the barrel up to 16.9, well, 36 degrees, the water in the pipe won't freeze. All right, but if you just go ahead and you just dump in liquid, and the liquid starts boiling off because it's touching the pipe and there's a little bit of heat in the water in the pipe and it carries away that heat as it's boiling off and it carries it away so fast that the pipe, the water in the pipes freeze and then water will expand in the pipe and cause the tube to burst and then you got to get a hydrostatic test tube kit and test out each pipe, see which one bursts. So they want to make sure that you know to charge with a vapor so the saturation temperature of R11 refrigerant gets to 16.9 inches in mercury vacuum all right and they don't give you any of these numbers you just need to know that i think they put that into text another thing that we use is the vacuum requirements like it's abc for type 1 and then it's 0444 010 10 15 for type 2. the way to remember the recovery requirements for a type 3 appliance is equipment that was manufactured before 1993 has got to get down to 25 inches in mercury and that kind of rhymes so i tell people to remember that before 93 25 inches in mercury and then if it's after 1993, which is most of the equipment today, you're going to be getting down to 25 millimeters uh, mercury absolute. So our way I have to remember that is before 93, 25 inches of mercury, and then after is absolute. A starts with F, uh, absolute starts with A, and then after also start A and A. So we just do the two A's, absolute and after. So hopefully this wraps up a little bit of the type 3 and uh, this helps you. Thank you.